Welcome everyone. So today is my first ever my everyday carry or my EDC. If you don't know what that is, it's basically everything I sort of take with me when I'm on the go. You know, a lot of big creators do this, a lot of tech creators do this, and that's why I felt the need to jump on this little bandwagon that everyone does because I like this content. I like seeing the content. So why not produce the content. So we're going to start off from left to right that I've got set out here on the desk. As you can see in the thumbnail, it's going to be the exact same layout. So starting off, obviously I drive a one series Beamer. Yes, I am a BMW driver. I know a lot of people hate that, but what are you going to do? I think it's a nice car. It's a diesel. And again, a lot of people are going to hate the fact that I drive diesel because you know, economy and stuff but still I, I ain't got the money to go buy a tesla if i did i would so i drive that so there are my keys on a obviously bmw key ring because why not if you drive a bmw you've got to have the key ring right with just a couple of house keys on there um so nothing really special there everyday carry because i always drive my car to take my daughter to work uh, my daughter to work take my daughter to school and stuff so that's that's besides the point next up is something cool that i found on tiktok and they actually sent me this to review and sort of post on my tiktok channel so if you're not over there go give it a like follow and all of that jazz um, i have two accounts they'll all be linked down below anyway and remember to leave this video a like and subscribe and let me know your everyday carries but still let's move on with the video this is kind of like a beautiful little aesthetically pleasing wristband for you nerds out there it's got this nice white sort of fake leather feel to it and it's in this sort of cross hatch style with a chromey gold colorway on top giving it some style i guess this is actually a usb-c to usb cable so whenever i'm on the go and i need my charger or you know just something to plug into a laptop or whatever i've got it around my wrist it looks stylish and it's got multiple purposes definitely a must have if you haven't got one next up is what coincides with what we're getting to in the middle of this this is a pen that was also sent out by tiktok shop which is a 24 karat gold plated pen from the company if i can pronounce the name right i will be surprised scrivenia i think that's how you say it i don't know it is a very nice gel pen to write with and the best thing about this Obviously the whole thing is weighted. It's got a beautiful texture, so it's nice and smooth in your hand and they are refillable. Yes, the pens cost a lot to buy in the first place, but the refills, I went out and bought four of them in the first day of getting this pen after writing and they are like four for, four for 10 pounds, crazy price. And you can get fine nibs, fat nibs, medium nibs, whatever. And it's just such a nice pen to write with. So that's an everyday carrier. I, I literally use that every day when I'm writing. Next up, obviously, is the wallet of choice. This is the Escater Glow in the Dark Aluminium Card Sleeve, also cash holder. The only bad thing about this is if you have any change, you can't put it anywhere. It just jingles in your pocket. But this thing is stunning, obviously, with the mechanism to pop your cards out and on the back having that nice little slot there to hold extra cards. While the front strap here you can is where you put your cash, but it's just got this beautiful creamy white colorway and then in the dark it goes a bright green it is such a breath of fresh air to have a wallet that not only serves a purpose but just keeps it minimalized that's so slim in my pocket and i love it right then moving on to what coincides with the pen is a notebook now this was given to me by my wife uh, from christmas she got it vinyl saying content creator calum fk and it's got all of my ideas in perfect size fits in your hand fits in your pocket whatever you can get so much detail inside this little book that's what i use now to to focus and sort of visualize my ideas of the content that I'm going to be doing hence the my EDC and soon to be what's in my camera bag or what do I take when I go on a shoot then kind of videos and they're all inside that book so that is like the little black book for all ideas next up this thing is one of my favorite things that I've ever had sent out and used majority of the time with my phone so we'll get into obviously what it does but this is the g grip i made a review on youtube it was 14 minutes long and it was just me talking an absolute load of crap not actually talking about the product so what this essentially is is a bluetooth device that connects to your phone that will allow you to use it as a camera but when it slips onto the phone it can be horizontal vertical whatever it feels like you're holding a dslr camera in your hand it just gives you better overall grip on your phone for when taking video and photo so it just makes it smooth crispy whatever got this nice texture on it all little g's everywhere it's like the google logo but it just it works so well and it's definitely one of my everyday carries i have it literally just sitting on the back of my phone most of the time because i don't really notice it in my pocket it's not bulky enough to sort of true out and annoy me so it's perfect to have in there 
definitely worth looking into. All the links will be in the description if you wanna go check it out anyway. That's why that's on my everyday carry. Next up, we have my watch. This is the Samsung, I don't even know. So this is the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. I have changed the straps though to more of a silicon strap because I did have metal. Now it's getting into the winter months. I mean, you can't go rocking a, a metal wrist strap because it gets cold. It gets stupidly cold. Definitely look into it if you're rocking a metal wrist strap. One, it was cheap, it was like 50 quid. And two, it just works overall everything I need it to do with WhatsApp messages. I can message back, I can ring people, I can do all of the above and beyond with this watch. And it just does everything that I need it to. That's why I've chose it. I didn't want to go expensive and go for the brand new one when it does pretty much the same thing anyway. Moving on to what it's compatible with is the last thing in my everyday carry. This is going to be my phone. This is the Samsung S23 Ultra. Now I picked this up when it first came out. I actually had it on pre-order with my contract because as soon as I saw that it had like 200 megapixel and like crazy zoom, taking photos of the moon. I thought, yo, this phone is gonna be sick for content. It's gonna be so good for all my vertical. I don't use this. Let me tell you now, I use it a couple of times when I'm not recording on my camera, which is the Sony a6400. I use it rarely for actually taking photos. I use my normal mirrorless camera because I, to me, I don't feel like I've got the best settings. I don't know what it is, but it, the quality is just terrible. The 12 megapixel camera on this looks better than the 200 megapixel or even the 50. I don't know what it is. For me personally, I like the phone. I like Android. The fact that you can do so much on Android that you can't on Apple, but still, there's features that I'd love to have, like the MagSafe on the back, the capability that the iPhone does with just clicking on the back. This has to have like a certain case. Then there's other features that I just feel Apple do a bit better. Like, yeah, their cameras aren't as high quality, but they give better quality, if that makes sense. You know, they're not promoting like 200 megapixel camera and it just giving dog shit quality like the Samsung S23 Ultra does. I don't know how, but it, it doesn't look good. I don't personally like it. The 8K footage as well, for me, does not look 8K. It looks so grainy. I don't know if any of you have the Samsung S23 Ultra or any version of the S23. 8K footage looks grainy as hell. I don't know if it's my settings or what, but I, I used it, I think, once in one of my videos and I hated it. I couldn't color grade it properly. It didn't work. That's another thing iPhone do. They got S logs. They've changed their minds of going, right, let's go down the route of like of going like down the app store route and all of this other stuff they've gone right creators are using our phone for a reason let's give them what a mirrorless camera can do genius why have why have android not done this yet instead android have gone let's allow all of our customers to download apps from online without having to pay for them or like let's make it so we can customize anything on the screen and move a widget wherever we want i don't care about that i want the phone to work how i want it to work not oh i can move this to this screen or i can put this here it's not in a formulated like union i don't care then there's a good thing about android is they allow you to use their stylus which is built into the phone so one feature i really like using with the s23 is if i haven't got my notebook on me i can take notes on my phone or if i'm editing a photo on lightroom i can get the little pencil out and you know grade and fix photos on my phone without having to take it to the laptop or my computer or whatever but yeah that is potentially my everyday carry i can't think of anything else that i really bring with me obviously cameras and stuff that's more for my camera bag or if i take out my big like pelican case then i've got crazy amount of stuff that i'd have to go through but i'm going to make a video soon being what's in my camera bag or what's in my night like, camera case or when i you know what i take when i go on a shoot sort of thing so much that i'm planning to do in 2024 and i hope that you join me on this journey if you like this kind of video if you like tech if you like review or unboxing i've got a keyboard on the way from drunken deer i'm super excited about i've got some custom keycaps coming that i've created literally like getting printed today and there's so much stuff that's on the way and i'm so excited for 2024 and to bring you all along with me so make sure you have smashed the like button hit subscribe notification bell as well so you don't miss the next upload but that's my everyday carry let me know in the comments below what your everyday carry is or what other things that you might take with you that i haven't explained here i would love to know so leave them in the comments capture create captivate that's what we've done here today and i'll see you all in the next video